like my truth uncensored. My whole network viral. Twelve and a half get you a quarterback. I got them shits flying like spirals. I like my truth. Podcast with your brother Old God and Sam. And I want to turn our attention to this next story over here. Classic video of ours, I'm sure other people that listen to the program Friday. Ice Cube, you know what I mean? Um, was on a uh, video show. Or, uh, I think it was on ESPN. ESPN. What ESPN. ESPN. Basketball show. Right, ESPN. right, right. Yeah. ESPN sitting next to Scottie Pippen. He was asked about Friday. I played a little clip and we'll talk about it. We're going to get to the thing that maybe is the most important part of this entire segment. You hinted at a new Friday movie on Twitter a few, yeah. days, ago, a few days ago. It was the 24th anniversary of the original Friday. Is this happening? Oh, yeah. You know, we push it forward. You know, we finished the script. Oh, wow. So, right. You know, we uh, we get notes from from the studio, and you know, it's going back and forth. We're gonna, you know, get into pre-production and start. Ooh, Danny, put the breaking news banner up. This you is know, breaking yeah, news. Yeah, and uh, it would be nice for this to come out on the 25th anniversary. Oh, it would be nice. oh, okay. so it's, uh, you know, um, you know, kind of like a good, yeah, a, while. a good day. Yep. So, okay. what's the best rap? All right, so that's Ice Cube, you know, pretty much alluding to that the script is done for a new Friday production. They're about to go into pre-production. Sam Ant, what are your thoughts on this? Well, if he said, if everything that he said is correct, it's coming out April 26, 2020. That's on a Saturday, so it'll probably drop the 25th going into it. Man, man, oh, man, I got a ton of emotions for this because Friday came out in 95. That was a great year, man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? And I remember John Witherspoon. I remember Chris Tucker, mm-hmm. Regina King, um, um, Nia Long, Debo, Tiny Lester, just the, the amount of stars, Ronaldo Ray. Just damn, I just did all of them. And then Friday at the next, introducing us to Mike Epps, and then next Friday, or oh, next Friday and then Friday at the next, excuse me. And but it was just it was nothing like that one to listen to him in the serial. And we just we joked about that movie yeah, throughout yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Like Throwing yeah. the tape on and joking, man. It was, a, it was yeah. a cult classic. 25 years, though. God damn. Whew. That's Getting a old. long time off. Yeah. And although we love this and, and we want to see it, it kind of reminds me of the old reboots. We talked about the Fresh Prince. We talked about Martin. Although these are childhood memories that we just are never going to be able to get back because they were just so iconic and so classic. And we want them so bad. Is it diluting the product if you give it to <sighs> us? Now, you were saying yeah. you only want to see it one way. You you don't, don't want to give a fuck about the next Fridays or the Friday after next. You want to see it one way. Don't get my don't get me wrong. They were good movies, but nothing was like the original. You know what I'm saying? And that, that way, Smokey and, and those guys, you know, kind of set the whole scene. So, in just my opinion, my just mine, you know, not yours. Um, I think that you know, what I'm saying, um, I would like to see Chris Tucker, you know, be being it. I think he could bring back, you know, try to at least somehow try to gain regain that original luster that it had. But other than that. Um, good luck. I don't want to say I don't think it's going to add up to that, but just good luck, you know, um, to the film and whatnot. But yeah, I would definitely like to see some of the more of the original. I'm, I'm sure a lot of them will be there, but how can you not have Smokey, man? God, oh, man. I mean, we we messed we missed Smokey on the last two, and I, I did so many videos on this on Viral Hip Hop News. Yeah, yeah. And a half it was coming out, and we had Don DC Curry. We didn't have him, but Don DC Curry was having a conversation about why uh, Chris Tucker can't do it because it it. it caters to a certain audience that he's not trying to cater to anymore make this without sugarcoating it a black serious? audience yeah come on and he didn't want to cater to that anymore that's why he did the the rush hour 12 or whatever that's out rush hour is dope but it ain't fucking friday nah man it ain't friday and then you heard things about money he wanted his bread right because he only made i believe five thousand to ten thousand for the first friday but you might have it's, it's a look at the budget it's, it's right. ice cube gary gray they trying to do their thing 1995 right. ten thousand dollar budget yeah. nobody get money <laughs> So, I mean, you figure the budget now would be way sweeter. And it, this is a number of things on why not. But the just look at how what that would do for the culture and, and look at what the young, when they could throw on and listen to look at their fathers now and their uncles and shit, looking at the old Friday DVDs. And now you can go ahead and look at it for the new generation. Now, I heard they may be um, DC Young Fly may play Smokey's son. That would be dope. But I feel like that would only be dope if Chris Tucker was in it playing yeah. his dad. I don't want to see a spinoff, and that's no disrespect to DC because he's talented, he's funny yeah, as hell, yeah, but it just wouldn't be the same. Nah, you ain't Smokey, you ain't Chris Tucker, mm-hmm. you DC young fly. So you want to see Chris Tucker in it? I know he got a little, his stature's a little different, not as skinny as he was back then, but they could still 
make that happen. And I'm disappointed that I heard the fact that he said he didn't want to uh, appeal to that. Or it's a movie, dude. Like, stop it. Come yeah, on, I mean, that's, that's what uh, DC Curry, and he kept it 100. He was on there, and he made no bones about it. And if I'm not mistaken, John Witherspoon, the, we all remember him being Pops and, and being the, the dad in there, Willie Jones. He kind of alluded to the same thing without saying he said it was money and then certain level of movie without saying it. So we all know he don't want to be in there with the black audience and they're cracking up and joking right. around. He wants to cater to that other audience, maybe because he makes feels those are money sweeter. Yeah, but I mean, like, be taken away. But that's I mean, corny. I'm sure he's done a lot of movies, but you don't really remember that nigga for nothing but Friday. John Witherspoon like that, man. Oh, John Witherspoon. I mean, as far as movie wise or whatever, um, he's done a lot of movies or whatever, but you know what I'm Friday. saying? Yeah, it's just like that's like that's I mean uh, for us, I'm not speaking for anybody else, like that imprint of the Friday, like you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That was like forever shaped him like Smokey and Chris Tucker, in my mind, it forever shaped like this is who you are. When I think of John Witherspoon, I think of Pops from the Wayne's brothers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think of definitely. Willie Jones. Yeah, this is a funny dude. Friday. Right, right. He did Boomerang back in the day, but I don't think people really remember him from Boomerang. And then he did stuff for when we were even too young to even remember was shit for Richard Pryor. His 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 resume is crazy, but what he's remembered for. Willie Jones and Pops, in our opinion. Bang, bang. Like I know people like, oh, this, that, and third. But yeah, in our mm, opinion. Facts. Definitely, but, um, yeah. I mean, in result, do you want to see this? Are you excited to see it? What do you think? I probably won't. It, depending on how the trailer looks, I might not go to the movies to see it. But around the house, somebody pop in. You know, you, you everybody got the little fire sticks now. Pop the movie Damn, on. Damn, oh, going to bootleg the, <laughs> bootleg the black folk. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to go buy it from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> right? This yeah. is good. But yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you going to the movies to see if it comes out? I got to. I would like to say that I will to support it, but I want to see the trailer. If the trailer turns me off, then I don't know if I can get down with it. I don't know if I want to see it drop on a Netflix. We seen how high two that released. I don't even know if you noticed that released on like MTV or something with DC Young Fly and Lil Yachty. Really? I wasn't interested. I, I without Method Man and Red Man, it just was not the same. That's no right. disrespect to them young brothers, but it just wasn't the same. Right. And even how they released it, like I don't know what channel MTV is on anymore. I'm not on MTV, I'm not on MTV style of channeling, so I don't know. Right, right. I think that they should have released that a, a little better, but I mean, salute to them, brothers. I heard it's not getting terrible ratings, but it's not getting much attention either. You didn't even know it was out. Nope. How high to? Low to you see them fly. <laughs> now, I mean, why not? YouTube is killing Netflix right now. Well, they doing anything. No, I mean, I remember we we grew up Karate Kid motherfucking fanatics. I remember certain movies we just love. Mm -hmm. And Karate Kid was one of them we grew up on. Did you ever check out any of the Cobra Kai episodes? Did you ever check those out at all? Mm -mm. Funny as hell, man. If you remember Karate Kid, you remember the characters and it'll take you back. Okay. But just to kind of talk about that, you just see the success of Cobra Kai. That shit is winning all day long. It's doing its numbers. It's doing its thing. Okay. Why not put a how high on YouTube? It'll win. Yeah. And promote it right. Definitely. People going to see it. Definitely, man. But yeah, man. Another episode of the Uncensored Truth podcast in the books today. This one. Tuned into the greatest yeah. Motherfucker, you ain't never lie no. If them people watching us like YouTube yeah. Then tell them motherfuckers like and subscribe yeah. If the blunt still, I still click a bell yeah. Inhale, yeah. get the feeling like string a bell no. Oh God, you better pay me like Uncle Sam uh. Hey, you walking like Bambi if them thumpers bland <laughs> I ignore cause I got no time for stressing She just wanna argue like the comment section I just stay calm and see the value in the lesson The hard top was sin, the drop top was a blessing I like my truth uncensored My whole network viral Twelve and a half get you a quarterback I got them shits flying like spirals